Now hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, let's talk about a pretty interesting topic, and that is military conversions of civil aircraft, like the one that we have right in front of us. This is actually a Boeing 707, quite a normal civil plane that used to be around in the 1950s to the early 2000s. There are still 707s flying around today though. It's a pretty impressive aircraft. Yeah, we have talked about this one before, and yes, this plane also has a its military version quite obviously we have it right in front of us this is the 707 ec18 also called area which stands for advanced range instrumentation aircraft which kind of sums up this plane very well yeah obviously the ec18 it's very famous for its uh nose here actually in the nose there are quite a lot of antennas too for example um mostly observation was this plane's role now let's go ahead and take this one off oh my goodness there's some party going on in the cockpit that is very interesting let's go ahead and take off that really doesn't look good jesus christ what the hell is wrong all right no problem at all i think we should actually add a seizure warning to this video it seems to be fixed now all right looking good now let's go ahead and take off all right despite that very interesting nose feature the plane flies pretty much just like a 707 does. I mean, it is, after all, just a 707. Quite a nice plane, actually. All right, that was almost a ground strike. No problem, though. Oh, wow, all that black smoke coming from the engines. Yeah, planes have improved economically over the years, you can say that, but no problem at all. Now, the area version of the 707, the EC-18, first of all, it did orbital support, air vehicle support, and also optics support. What that means, I have no idea. It's some kind of observation aircraft and actually this plane it is not needed anymore it's pretty obsolete obviously it's been retired for years as well but that's because we have satellites now yeah most of what this airplane used to do was taken over by satellite based systems so it's not really needed anymore is it yes this plane is nice and all but let's move on to the next aircraft we have already had this one on the channel so let's move on oh yeah I got a special one actually now a few days ago we actually talked about the Saab 340 this is a very interesting turboprop planes as you can see here. There are several versions of that plane There's the cargo version obviously the passenger version, but there's also a military version called the airborne variant That is what is that Jesus Christ right now? This is the Saab 340, but in a special version This is the AEW and C version which stands for airborne early warning and control very interesting name as always Unlike the 707 this plane actually still flies all around the world in a lot of air forces. For example, the Swedish Air Force uses this plane. I mean, it makes sense. This is a Swedish plane. Also, the Pakistani Air Force and the Thai Air Force uses this plane. But actually, there are not that many of these airplanes built. Only 12 of these airborne variants have been built so far. Now, what does a plane like this actually do? It's quite obvious. Now, what does a plane like this actually do? This plane was designed to detect aircraft ships and in general vehicles at long ranges and they can also perform a command and control of the battle space in an air engagement by directing fighter and attack aircraft strikes yeah no all this plane basically does is magic and it works by magic now it obviously has this very huge radar system on board that makes it look very special yeah this airplane's aerodynamic features are probably very interesting. Let's just go ahead and take this plane off, though. <laughs> this looks like we have a casket or something on board. That's very interesting, I guess. Let's see if a plane with a casket on top of it can actually take off, too. Which it can. That's no problem. I do actually wonder how that radar actually affects the speed of the aircraft. I mean, it must make it a lot slower and a lot less powerful, which is actually happening right now. We are <laughs> barely gaining speed and altitude, but it's looking good. Not too bad. Engine is running fine that's right all right that's okay the plane it is able to fly that's good even with the casket on top of it these additional surfaces here i find very interesting what are what do these do probably uh, stabilize the aircraft i guess <laughs> i mean it's very obvious that's fine the plane flies just nicely well while actually flying we can't really operate the radar because the people that operate these radars are normally then in the passenger cabin that we are not in 
and the simulator has crashed. So let's move on. All right, so now we have the most modern plane in this video today, and that is the Boeing P-8 Poseidon. It is, by the way, also probably one of the most badass planes in this video. <laughs> All right, so this plane is pretty modern, as I already said. It came out in 2013, and it's developed from the 737-8, from the next generation, actually. So it has a next generation cockpit. This looks like a Ryanair 737 cockpit but just something usual. But this is not a Reiner 737. <laughs> this is uh, quite different. Now, this plane is focused on maritime stuff, so you'll mostly see it doing missions over water. It was also only developed for the US Navy, which is the maritime thing. But it's also used by the Indian Navy or the Royal Air Force in Britain. But yes, again, it's used for water stuff. It's basically an anti-watercraft plane, right? It can find submarines and ships. It is armed with torpedoes, harpoons, and some other weapons. So this plane is actually able to fight. This is a fighter jet, totally. Let's go ahead and take off. See how that works. Lovely takeoff again. No problem at all. That is good. Let's turn right. Facing the Mediterranean Sea, which is this plane's home, right? You know, the ocean, right? Now this plane, it's basically got a lot of antennas, as you can see on the roof. Also, it got a special wing, which I'm not really sure about. What does that wing do? What What is the use of it? It looks pretty damn cool though, doesn't it? There's some other stuff here too. Now, now here in the sim, the airplane that I'm flying, it cannot shoot anything, probably because again, just like in the other planes, the pilots, they are not able to do anything. They can only fly the plane, but the actual people sitting inside of the plane, inside of the passenger cabin, can shoot missiles and stuff. So we're not going to be able to attack this ship down here, which is unfortunate, or maybe just maybe now this is what you do when you run out of missiles. Oh, damn. That it was a miss. That was not good. God damn it. Yeah, well, what can you say? The P-8 Poseidon is actually pretty cool. For example, the Indian Army used this plane to find the Malaysian 777 that went missing in 2015, which has actually not been found yet. So, you know, this plane is not very effective, I guess. Just kidding. No, but that's just really how you can practically use this plane. You can find stuff that's in the ocean, like ships, submarines, or missing airliners. And yeah, as I already said, this plane can also so fight. Now, so far, 122 of these planes have been built, and they're actually pr still producing this plane, so if you want to, you can probably buy this for the cheap price of 125 million. That's actually not too bad for a plane like this, so that's just fine. Now let's get this plane landed as well. Alright, that was a landing, I guess. No problem at all. Yeah, so this plane, it's pretty damn cool. Now, the thing is, most conversions of passenger planes to military planes are tankers. You know, turning a civilian plane into a tanker, just like this A330. Yes, this is an A330, an Airbus, that has been turned into a tanker. And you can see that with planes of pretty much any sort. You know, back in the days, they used a DC-10 as a tanker. You know, you can see the 767 as a tanker, or the DC-10 as the KC-10, or pretty much any other airplane model. It's pretty interesting. Now, let's just go ahead and take off, I guess. This is a very, very realistic cockpit, as you can see here. Very very, very nice, very nice. <laughs> pilots, I guess. Yeah, this is what I look like. Pretty accurate representation of real life. Now, let's go ahead and take off. Oh, the sounds are disgusting too, Jesus Christ. But all right, that was a takeoff, I guess. The plane it just flies pretty fine. Oh, wow. The things come out. That's interesting. Now, we have no actual airplane to refuel here, so we're pretty useless. Again, as always, pretty much. So, there's pretty much only one thing that we can do. There we go. Now, uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video. And I'll see you tomorrow, as always. Good night. Oh, wow.